Hey everyone, this is a common question I get is what do I monitor on my iDash on my LM2 diesel? Now this would probably apply to most diesels, but this is my choice of uh, parameters to, to monitor. I monitor boost for obvious reasons. This is a, uh, a turbocharged engine, so I want to see if there's any type of problems that I can uh, quickly see before it sets a DTC. Oil engine temperature is a good um, good way to see the health of the engine, especially if you're working the truck hard. Uh, same thing with ECT, it's a good option to have. Like for example, right there, engine coolant temperature is actually 183 degrees. Well, if I go to my dash, it says it's about 210. The dash gauges are extremely inaccurate. I don't like that, so I like to have an accurate um, an accurate uh, pit of information that I can look at. Intake air temperature. Now, if I was driving around, I have the the SMB air intake. I have the still an air scoop. If I was driving around, uh, the temperature would be about ambient. So right now, um, it's been sitting idling here for about 10, 15 minutes. So the engine bay is getting warm. So it, it is as expected to be a little bit higher, but um, I also like to t take a look at it, make, making sure that everything is uh, looking Gucci, per se. So, EGT, another engine health thing, specifically a turbo health thing. Uh, I like to monitor EGTs. I want to know that they're not getting past that 1300, 1400 uh, degree range when I'm pulling something, if I'm abusing the truck or anything like that. Um, once it passes 1400 that's kind of the the red zone where catastrophic damage can happen to to a turbo blade specifically the turbine so good thing to watch gear uh unfortunately unlike f-150s which i've had in the past which i loved they used to show you the well f-150s do show you which gear you're in um it's it's awesome if you're towing uh you know if you want to manually shift the truck up and down uh anything like that it's nice knowing what gear you're in if you want to you know give it a little bit more gas or manually do it to the lower gear uh to see if the torque converter is locked or not you can easily see it uh with this i have to use the i dash unfortunately to do it so right now it shows you that it's in park neutral i'll put it in drive just in uh and then you can see there it's in first gear and the torque converter is unlocked let's see if i can put it in manual and no it doesn't let me manually go into second gear oddly enough i think my f-150 used to do that but anyways it's a good option there to uh to monitor what gear you're in at least i like looking at it and the two bottom pits there you're going to see dpf rg that's dpf range that's how full the dpf is so it means it's at 40 percent once it gets to about 100 percent it's going to want to do a regen now you can do a regen a mobile regen on the vehicle through this device i made a video on that if you guys want to see that please check that video out but the vehicle automatically will attempt to do a regen at 100% um, if the parameters are correct for a region. And the one next to it where it says region, that just means if it's doing a region or not. Um, once it is doing a region, you will see uh, it ch change to ACT as actuated. When it is in ACT, that means the, the region is performing as we speak. So there's a million ways you can set up these devices you know right now i have eight pids there i like seeing as much as i can see um some people like to have it much simpler some people prefer for one reason or another um to show different things that's what i find important to me uh give me your thoughts tell me what you guys are monitoring with your eye dash uh you know maybe from here from one of you guys you know why you monitor it uh, I might change it up and switch it up a little bit. So if you guys uh, have any suggestions, you can comment below. You can hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is at carbonpro underscore AT4. I get a lot of requests uh, through there. So let me know what you guys want to see. I also did uh, set this iDash kind of to look like the dash. So I made it mostly blue. 
it kind of matched the blues of the i dash to the to the dash and the letters are all white letters and numbers are all white as it is on the dash and then just put the arrows as red because the truck has very little red on the dash so i think it matches up well when you're driving at night it looks like it's almost like a factory thing i will i will do a uh, quick video on the pod next thank you guys have a great day please like follow subscribe thank you